Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share. Appreciate all the great support we've been getting. Today we're gonna to clean labels off bottles and clean bottles. Seems simple. If you've seen it before, then great. If not, something you should know and you should watch. What are you gonna need? Well, I like the OxyClean. OxyClean, dye-free, perfume-free. You can use PBW. You only need about a tablespoon. I use a heaping tablespoon, so up to about two tablespoons should do a good job. And you're gonna soak it in hot, hot water and most of the labels will just fall off. Some of the labels, you're gonna to have to maybe get a little razor blade, get it, and then peel it up. If it doesn't come up easy, throw the damn bottle away. And number two, I mean, if I order these online, it's gonna cost half as much as I buy them in the store with beer in them. I'd rather pay double and get the beer. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, brew shops on that, but I like beer. So I'd rather drink it and then clean the bottle and reuse it. So to me, that's just the smart thing to do. And then I keep reusing those same bottles over and over and over, which doesn't matter where you're getting them from. A couple tools you're gonna need. Well, of course, OxyClean or PBW. The other tricks, a razor blade helps a lot if you have to get a label started, if it's one of those tighter labels. If it frustrates you, just throw the damn bottle away. Don't waste your time. But most of the labels are gonna fall off and they're gonna either leave one of two things. They're either gonna leave a little thick, gluey gunk that's either gonna wipe right off or you take one of these little scouring pads and you just lightly wipe it and it comes right off. Not a big deal, it's some hot water. If for some reason it's one of those real tight labels, um, Highland Brewery, a lot of theirs are real tight, you peel them and they leave this fine film on there and it's quite annoying. Regular SOS pad, it won't scrape the glass up, it's very fine, it'll take that film right off. Be careful, a little dish soap will help, but be careful because that dish soap will make it really slippery and you could drop the bottle. So that's all you need to really clean it. After we clean them though, remember PBW or OxyClean, you gotta rinse it, clean it, and then we're gonna have to sterilize it because that doesn't sterilize, it's just a cleanser. So then we'll fill the bucket back up with hot water, get a bottling brush from like Amazon or somewhere or your local brew shop, and star sand. Star sand takes one to two minutes of contact to sterilize. It does not clean, it sterilizes it. It will technically clean to some degree, but even Five Star, who makes this stuff, recommends using a cleanser before you use this to get any kind of grime or dirt off of something. So that's pretty much it. Those are the tools you're gonna need. The razor blade you may not even need, but it's nice to have in case you do. And like I said, I use them for everything. That's it, let's get cleaning some bottles. And don't forget again, like, subscribe, and appreciate all the support. Let's clean some bottles. A little bit of every kind of bottle I can imagine I have that has, still has a label on it. Got one of these cooker things you get cheap at uh, Walmart with a little propane for doing crawfish or frying turkeys or whatever. It's cheap. I don't know what it's made out of. I think it's aluminum or something, but all I'm gonna do is drop in some OxyClean. No dye, no perfumes. <clears throat> Talking about maybe two tablespoons. This thing's almost empty, so I'll say screw it. I got a new one. And then what you're gonna do is fill it with as hot of water as you can get. Get the bottles out of the way real quick. Okay, you don't have to boil the water or anything. You just want to get it hot enough that it kind of burns you a little bit. It doesn't necessarily need to be comfortable for you. And then fill your kettle. You can either do two things. You can either fill it so that it goes just over the top of the bottle or you can fill it where it goes almost twice as high as the bottle and you can fill other bottles and set them in upside down kind of in between the bottles. And I'll show you how we get this all filled up. Okay, you only need about a tablespoon of that OxyClean. I probably threw it almost three. So I was finishing it out. It will work a little faster. You're not cleaning the insides of the bottle. You're getting the label off. You can fill it with water or you can just submerge it and let it fill. And we're still not covering the tops of our bottles, but as I put more bottles in there, it'll fill up. And all you're doing is you're filling the bottles and putting them in a ring. You wanna get as many bottles as you can get in here at a time. You don't wanna do this all the time, you just wanna do it in batches and do multiple batches. So, take an hour or two on a weekend, get it all done, and you could do 100 bottles easily within maybe an hour and a half, two hours. 
problem is when you're sticking the bottle and letting it fill, <clears throat> you didn't pre-fill it, and that water's really hot, kind of hurts a little. Let's get some more bottles in there. Here's one of the reasons I like it so big, is I can fill this. There's no more room down here, it would stand up. But I can kind of shove it in between the bottles. So I can get almost twice as many bottles in the same basic space, a little bit more space, but not much. As long as your pot's big. If your pot's not that big, you might not be able to do this. But when you're cleaning, the biggest time thing is soaking. They gotta soak for 20, 30 minutes. Um, some of them will take less time, some will take more time. But if they soak long enough, a lot of these labels will literally just fall right off and no work required. So I put this in here to make it easier for you to see. But let's take the first one out. This is a Kona. Now you're still gonna have to clean this with hot water and star sand because you wanna sterilize it. But as you can see, it peels right off. No real effort. Now this gummy stuff, you have two options. Set that there for now. Gotta pull the garbage can closer. You can try to rinse it off with warm water, which that cold water doesn't help. Or you can use a sponge with the rough side and it'll come right off. And there you go, perfectly clean bottle. Okay, let's try a different one. Okay, here we go. This one, the cider I got from, cider I got from Trader Joe's, it just literally falls off and the glue comes right off too. Rinse it off. Rinse it out. And that's it. So we already have two clean bottles. Grab another one. See if we can get, there we go. That's the German one. Yeah, the labels came off and I don't even have any glue left. Actually, I say I don't, but I can feel a little bit. So, you like that? Keep a garbage can near you, it makes life a lot easier. Okay, let's see if I can find one of the harder ones. Nope. Okay. These can sometimes be easy or hard. It seems to be how they want to glue them. Okay, this is a hard one. Okay. I don't know if the Star, or if PBW or OxyClean will ever get these labels off. You can take a pair of pliers, you can take whatever you want. It will come off. Um, some of them that don't come off real easy, I get mad and just throw them away and say screw it and throw them in the recycle. But the trick here, you can use a razor blade to get up under it. Once you get it started, which of course your hands are gonna be wet, so it's gonna be a little harder. Mm. There you go. You get your knuckles under it and you just roll it. Now here's the one I wanted to show you, and this is up to you. Some of these aren't worth it. I mean, if it's really bad, I would just throw it away. Or like I said, put it in the recycle. Okay, I got this film on here. Nobody wants that film. It's not really sticky, but it's kind of tacky and it stays there. Well, what you do, take a little bit of steel wool, and this is the regular SOS pad. Take a little bit of dish soap, wipe it on there so it's nice and slick. And you just take the SOS and go back and forth, and that stuff will come right off. Be careful, because the bottle is also very slippery. Okay. As you can see, the SOS pad took all of it, but I missed a little bit over here. Take that. Gone. And the bottle's not all scratched up. It's just clean. And another bit. Of, you can't always see this stuff until you get the soap off. Rinse. Another one, and it's bells, and literally the labels are falling off. Well, that one's not. The front one fell right off. We got that glue. Like I said, you can wipe it, but honestly, one of these little green, yellow sponges takes it right off.
It's really bad, you can take a razor blade and clean it, but that's usually the kind I throw away and don't waste my time. And peels right off. Peels right off. If you keep the water hot, you can keep rotating bottles until you've cleaned all your bottles. You don't have to keep refilling, you don't have to keep reusing the OxyClean or PBW or whatever you choose to use. But I've always used OxyClean for this. Sometimes I've used PBW if I was out of OxyClean, but OxyClean is my go-to for cleaning bottles, labels off of bottles. It just works and it works well. There you go. Flying dog, label just falls right off. But I got that glue, I won't get that glue off. And with my finger, it wipes off on this one. I don't need any scrubby brush or anything. Okay, I'm gonna finish these bottles up and then we'll continue. And we're done. No, no, we're only halfway done. Um, we used OxyClean and OxyClean's not a no rinse cleaner. Same thing if we use PVW, which is very similar. What we're gonna need to do is rinse these out and put them away until we're ready to use them. When we go to use them, we're gonna use star sand and hot water. But for the sake of this video, even though normally I would wait until I was getting ready to use them, I'm just gonna go all the way and sterilize them now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some nice hot water as hot as it'll go. I'm gonna put about, man, probably about two gallons over there. And we'll dump the star sand in there. Okay, and you can measure your star sand out. It's an ounce for five gallons, half ounce for about two and a half gallons. So we should be good. It's gonna get nice and foamy in there. And same thing. But this time we don't wanna fill these and put them in because we want the star sand to get in it. The outside's clean, we don't care. I mean, you're not drinking the outside, you're drinking the inside. So, but we're gonna wait until this fills up a bit so we don't end up with a ton of star sand in one bottle and hardly any in another, even though it really wouldn't matter much. We wanna get some more water in there. So once the water fills up, we'll drop them in there and we'll continue. I like to get the foam out, just me, because I like to be able to see where the water level is. And star sand makes a lot of foam. Okay, you would think you can just dip this in, scrub it, be done. <coughs> no. Star sand needs one to two minutes of contact. And honestly, I'm gonna give it two minutes. So what I usually do is I just put them all in here, get them all submerged. And then once I get the last one submerged, I go to the next one and start pulling them out. Okay, now that we've got them all in there, I'm gonna go back to the first one I have. I dump a little bit out because I don't wanna get splashed. I take my brush, which should already be clean. Just push it in, twist it around, go in and out a little bit. The dirtiest spot is usually around the top here and anything that was sitting down here, someone let it sit. And letting it sit sucks. I mean, I always rinse my bottles out. I, it's just, they're nasty if somebody lets it sit. It just smells bad. You rinse it out like this. Look. And yeah, it's a no rinse. I like to rinse mine. Just a little, doesn't have to be crazy. And I like to look inside the bottle uh, I like to look like that and see that there's nothing in there because there could be something solid sitting in there and that would not be good. I've had only one bottle ever like that, but from there on I'm paranoid and I always look inside the bottles. So we're gonna just simply do this over and over for every bottle, dump a little bit out, stick the brush in, twist, 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 both directions, up and down, pull it out dump the star sand back in with the hot water because you can keep adding more bottles over and over until you get everything nice and clean. Um, if you're doing a couple hundred bottles, you may eventually want to rotate the water, but you should be fine for probably up to 200, 300 bottles. Now, what will happen is if you let this bottle sit, there's a little bit of water will build up in here and see, it drips. So what we're going to do is we'll move it to a bottling tree. I love bottling trees, especially when you're doing about 100 bottles, you just stack them all up there and they drip dry. It's awesome. Okay, take the bottles that you cleaned, stack them in the tree. They're gonna drip. You get too much water down here, you can take some paper towels, dry it up, not a big deal. And you're done. All you're gonna do is let that drip dry 
and you can start bottling right away. Or if you have to wait more than maybe a week, I would recommend maybe cleaning them again, just rinsing them. If it's gonna be more than that, maybe a little star sand and water. Shouldn't have to scrub them out if you've cleaned them good. Thank you again for joining us at Bitter Reality Brewing. Don't forget, like, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for the support.